Hey, welcome to Mechajiki. In today's tutorial, we're going to be going over how to configure Render Garden for Mac. So after you've already downloaded and installed Render Garden, based on our previous tutorial, if you want to check that out, uh, you want to go ahead and just open up After Effects. So in our case, we're going to be opening up AECC 2018. Now that we have After Effects open, we want to make sure we have one certain preference actually checked. So what you want to do is go up into After Effects Preferences, General, or in this case on the Windows machine, it will be under Edit Preferences General. And you just want to make sure that this option here, Allow Scripts to Write Files and Access Network, is turned on. So in our case, it's already turned on, so we're going to go ahead and click OK. And we're going to go up to Window, scroll on down to Render Garden, and open that up. So when you first launch Render Garden, you'll be presented with this page asking for your serial. Normally you would have the option to actually trial the software for seven days, but in our case our trial period is over, so it needs a serial. So we're going to go ahead and paste our serial in there and click register. After you click trial or register, you'll be presented with this screen. What this screen pretty much says is that there are two main components that you need to have installed. One of them is Python 2.7 and the other one is FFmpeg. Now for Mac, Python already comes pre-installed with Python 2.7, so you don't need to worry about that. But on Windows, you will need to actually download it. Now for FFmpeg, you need to download for both Mac and Windows. So what you could do is click on this download link, and it'll take you directly to our downloads page here where you could be able to select FFmpeg and Python, and it'll take you to the corresponding websites to be able to download those files. So in our case for Mac here, we're going to go to FFmpeg. And on this site, it's actually the same for both Mac and Windows. And what you need to do is select 3.4, select your operating system, and then make sure you select Static, and click Download Build. Now that that's downloaded, we're going to go to Show and Finder. And the folder structure for both Mac and Windows are the same for this download. So we're just going to go ahead and open this up. And we're just going to drop it down. And the files that we actually need are inside the bin folder. And inside here we have four different options, but the only one that we need is the FFmpeg file. So we're going to go ahead and copy that, and we're just going to move it directly into our applications directory, and just paste inside there. So now if we click or hit F and scroll down, we have our FFmpeg in here. Now this is crucial because we need to be able to remember exactly where this is located, and make sure that if we have any other render nodes on our network, we need to be able to install FFmpeg directly in here as well. So let's go ahead and minimize our windows here. Come back. And now that we have FFmpeg downloaded and installed inside of our applications folder, we're going to just click OK. And now we're presented with the Render Garden Script UI panel. In another tutorial, we'll be going through all the different functions for Render Garden. But currently, right now, we're just going to show you how to configure it. So we're going to go ahead and go to Show Prefs. And we're going to double click and maximize this window so I could show you everything inside the general prefs. So one of the first things that we need to look at is the Python command. On Mac, it's already in here by default, so you actually don't need to change anything. But on Windows, you are going to need to click Browse and browse to that Python application file that is inside your C drive. Next, what we want to do is set the FFmpeg path. So we're going to go ahead and click Browse, go to Applications, go to F, and choose FFmpeg, and click Open. And there we go, we already have FFmpeg in there. Next, we're going to need to set our seed bank. In our case, if I actually minimize everything, all of our windows here. So currently, we're going to be working off of a server external drive that we have here, where all of our project files and everything rest. So say we have our MechaJiki promo with our EU project with all of our source files. So we're actually going to be setting our seed bank at the top level here. And that's where all the Render Garden files will actually be saved. So we're going to go ahead, go back to here, and we're going to just browse, go to our server, and create a new folder, and just call it underscore seed bank. You could actually call this folder whatever you want, and you could save it wherever you want as well. So we're going to go ahead and click create, and open. Now that we have all three of these, the Python command, FFmpeg path, as well as your seed bank configured, you are now ready to start using Render Garden. So our next tutorial, we're going to be going over how to actually launch a render using RenderGarden. 